Hey guys, how's it going? Wanted to say hi this Wednesday morning. We hope that you guys have had a great start to school. We miss seeing you. Um, we miss worshiping together. We miss just hanging out together, seeing faces, hugging, high-fiving, fist pumps, and all that stuff. We've gotten together with the worship team here. Uh, came into school to start recording a few worship songs so that hopefully week after week you guys will be able to worship with us from home. I know it's not the same, it's not the ideal maybe, but we pray that's encouragement to your heart and to your life. There's power in unity and so when we can come together even through a bunch of different screens, phones, computers, whatever, and worship together, something powerful can happen. So we're going to sing out today. We invite you guys, whether it's, they told me that you guys are probably in bed, so whether it's from your bed or your desk or your living room, dining room, whatever it is, we invite you guys to, to sing out. The words are going to be on the screen. We invite you guys to close your eyes, lift your hands, worship however you want to express your worship today to God. But we just encourage you guys to worship him today. So let's just begin by praying. God, we love you so much. And we thank you that even though these aren't the ideal circumstances, Lord, we can praise you anyway. And God, as we're going to sing today, um, this, this song says, Awake My Soul. God, I pray that those souls and hearts and minds that need awakened by you today, God, that they'll, their hearts will tune into this worship song, Lord, to tune into your presence, God, as, as you move among us. We just thank you for your love. We thank you for Jesus Christ. We honor you because of the sacrifice made for us. There's no greater love and there was no greater sacrifice and gift than the gift of salvation in your son, Jesus. So, God, that's why we worship you today. It's why we praise you. It's why we give you all the honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. There is a sound I love to hear. It's the sound of the Savior's robe as he walks into the room where people pray. When hear praises he hears faith there is a sound i love to hear it's the sound of the savior's robe as he walks into the room where people pray Awake my soul and sing, 
Hello, CAG students, faculty, and families. How exciting it is for us to come back after a long summer. We met last time, it was on March 10th. But we're so thankful that we're all healthy and we're back to kick off our secondary chapel. Before I announce our Stucco officers, I would like to share a verse from the administration team a verse that has spoken to our heart and we would like to share with our CAG families. It is from John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Isn't it wonderful to know that Jesus has overcome everything? I know some of you are facing difficulties or challenges, but just remember, God has overcome everything for you already, and he gives us his peace. Our peace is not from this world, but it comes from our God, our Savior. Okay, guys, are you wanting to know who our executive committee officers are? Well, let me announce our new officers for year 2020-21. Our school spirit leader is Joseph Park. Hi, it's Joseph. I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who voted for me. I promise to work better. I, I promise to work hard to try my best and make quarantine a lot more enjoyable and a lot more fun. And I promise to give opportunities for everyone in the student body to interact with each other and to just you know have fun during these hard times. So thank you. Our secretary treasurer is Santiago Perez. Hey CAG, my name is Santiago Perez and I was chosen as your secretary and treasurer for the 2020-21 school year. This quarantine has been challenging and boring, but I can ensure you all that I will make the most out of this opportunity to ensure that we have a great, exciting school year and that we grow as a community united under God. Thank you. Our student chaplain is Eden Pishkar. Good morning, CAG. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to vote and for voting me in as your 2020-2021 student chaplain. I'm so grateful for this opportunity and I'm excited to see what this next school year will bring. Thank you. Our vice president is David Pian. Hello, CAG. My name is David Pian, and I was elected to be your next student council vice president from the years of 2020 to 2021. Though this quarantine has brought many challenges and changes to our school year, I'll promise to use the best of my opportunity and privilege as vice president to bring the best out of this year. Once again, thank you very much. And leading our CAG student body for two years in a row, our incumbent president is Danny Park. Good morning, CG. I would like to sincerely thank you guys for voting me as your student president. It is an honor and I am greatly humbled by your confidence to vote for me to lead and represent the school. It doesn't just end here. This is the beginning. Your voices will be heard. Once again, thank you for your support and I'm looking forward to work with the new officers and to have a great year. Have a good day. Well, secondary students, teachers, and family, we hope to join us every Wednesday 
for our secondary chapel. We thank Yvonne and Allison for putting this together. We thank you for their heart. So at this time, I would like to pray until we meet again next Wednesday. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your presence in our lives. Father, we thank you for the leaders that you have chosen to lead the student body this year of school year 2020-21. Some may say it's a difficult time and it's challenging, but we know and we are so thankful that you have already overcome all the trouble and the peace you give us only comes from you, Father. Father, I lift up these five officers. I ask you to speak to each of their hearts so they may truly serve the student body. At this time of pandemic all around the world, I pray that our school year will be memorable, not because of fun activities, but because we want to experience you. I pray that your light will shine in each of their lives and their thoughts and their actions. And Father, next week as we choose the class reps for Stucco, you choose the right leaders for each class that will lead and that will bring the class together and bring the student body together in one spirit this year. Father, we thank you for all the teachers. I know it's been a struggle teaching online, but we ask you that you give them wisdom. We give them, you give them their patience, but most of all, your love. We thank you for all our parents who are struggling. Some may be struggling at home trying to teach their little ones. But Father, we ask that we, first of all, may be thankful for allowing us to be able to get the education we need through online. Father, we thank you for the student body. We thank you for the board members. And we thank you most of all that you are leading us, that we take the yoke that you have set before us. And we don't go before you, but we stay behind your leadership. Thank you, Lord, for this exciting school year. We are anxious, but we bring all those anxiety to you. We bring you our prayer request, and we know you will answer each one according to your will. We love you, and we pray all this in your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I was searching for something. Something I knew was there but couldn't see I remember the moment When the